Welcome everyone to part three, the boat haul of Conley Stinger 609 Drag Boat Project, part three. Thanks for tuning in for part three. I uh, just want to take a moment, show you the boat again, sitting on the trailer. Um, like I said in the previous video, the trailer turned out unbelievable, just the way I designed it and uh, turned out perfect. Very happy with it. Um, also, just taking a quick walk around the boat here. I'm gonna show pictures today of the build of the boat up to this point. It's been quite extensive, um, the process to get it to this point. Um, I'm gonna go through the pictures quite rapidly. Um, so basically what I wanna do is anybody who wants to uh, look at pictures longer than what I'm gonna be showing them, just pause the video. Um, and if you pause the video, that will uh, allow you to view the pictures longer. Um, but once again, uh, parachutes are done, linkage is done in the back, um, everything is done. Um, it turned out really, really, really cool. Um, also, um, I've got something really cool I want to show everybody um, near the end of this video that I built for the Conley Stinger 609 engine. And um, so I'm going to put that on here at the end of the video. And uh, it turned out really cool. I think you'll be very, very excited to see what's going on top of the Conley engine. So anyhow, um, let me get over here. Once again, here's our little guy that we're kind of modeling things after. And uh, I'm going to come over here and let's get the picture started. Like I said, I'm going to go through these pretty quickly. So if you want to see them longer, go ahead and pause the video. In the beginning, we had the hull. Um, there is a, a 12 ounce uh, Red Bull can in the back of the boat. As you can see how far the fairing used to go back. Um, anyway, so uh, the fairing uh, had to been cut back. You see the back of the boat it used to go almost to the rear. Had to bring it forward for all the parachutes and everything to mount. So then the next thing I needed to have, I needed to have the transfer case and V-drive and the transfer case and V-drive showed up and got that. Then Gary Conley was good enough to provide me with a uh, engine, mock-up motor, so I could build up my motor mounts and plates and whatnot. And so, as you can see here, I'm gonna kinda come in close, hopefully you can see it. Um, I don't know if it's showing up or not, but I wrote, I had write, I have writing running down the sides of the boat here in this picture. Um, this is basically all my markings for positions of where everything needed to be. As you can see here in this photo also, the, you see the space between the tank and the um, back of the boat. I had, that was all filled in later on. Um, here's another shot. Um, basically, it was a lot of just moving the engine and everything forward and backward and trying to figure out where to position everything. Um, like I said here, got, I got more writing here of when I was positioning things and I had already cut the fairing back at this point. Um, the fit with the engine. So there's that and then come down here and then you can see that um, Basically, I had already cut the stringers out of the boat that the boat originally came with um, And basically what we got going on here is the new bottom floor platform uh, Before the stringers were built and there it is just kind of laying everything out for where everything's going to be located Then I come over here then the next thing after I figured out where everything was going to be I had to build a engine plate um, back for the back of the transmission uh, where, or the bell housing where the bearing support is on the Conley engine. Um, so basically that was the position there and then the aluminum stringers. Then I had to build the front motor mounts and there's a, uh, some basically po thick poster board stuff that I used to cut out my patterns and that's for the mounts. And then here's another shot. Um, that was after I had tack welded in the uh, plate for the uh, um, bell housing and center support bearing there. So uh, then repositioning and figuring out where the tran tranny or the, I guess you want to call it the uh, transfer case and the V drives were going to be located. And then down here, there's a shot there of uh, basically that's the, the stringer outlet. That's the, the layout for the boat, uh, the engine mounts to that and that was all put back into the boat. Then after that, I wanted to do a, on the back of the boat, I set up my router table and I routered a 1 8 inch deep groove all the way across the back of the boat, about three quarters of an inch in, 
Um, there's the marks also for the stringers are going to go um, here and here for the um, uh, for the uh, struts, I should say, for the props. And basically, I wanted to build. I'm building a transom plate here. So then, come back up here to the top, and basically, here's the transom plate um, on the bottom, screwed in place. Then I had to build the top part of the transom plate, and there's the top part of the transom plate. And also then after that, it gave me the position where I needed to locate my uh, main block for my rudder assembly. And then, coming down here, um, then the next thing after that, there's the rudder assembly put on there. And then basically seeing a drawing here on the end, um, that's where the uh, rest of my linkage needs to go through for steering. And I had to build all that stuff. And then here's a shot of the back of the boat after some of those components were built. And then um, after that, it was time to I put a block inside the back of the boat to contain the uh, mounts for the struts that came through the bottom. And then we come up here, and then there's the struts uh, coming through with the props on there. I had to figure out all the locations for that. Then, after that, like I told you before, this boat's going to have uh, full functional parachutes. So there's the uh, servo, I had to build a servo mount for the parachutes uh, release right underneath the parachutes. So there's that. And then come down here, um, and then you'll also see in this picture, off to the left there, a little piece of the picture there, that's the um, uh, servo that operates the uh, rudder assembly and the steering. And then after all that stuff was done in the back, after I didn't need to get back there so tight anymore, then it was time to build the back and fill it in. So there it is, filling in the back and shaping it all out. And on all the drag boats, the real ones, they have an uh, evacuation tank, basically, on the back of the boat. It captures all the vacuum pressure from the engine. And I want my boat to be just like the real boat, so I built one of these little tanks. And then, also, there's a splash guard that goes around the back of the boat um, inside there. And so there's where the, uh, the tank mounts to that. And then here's a nice picture of that uh, sheet metal. Um, splash guard installed into the back of the boat and you can also see in this picture also you can see the mounting uh, the mount for the uh, rudder uh, servo there as well and then after that um, basically I gotta turn this picture around um, here's a picture of the tanks that I built um, I built uh, two tanks they're both 24 ounces um, one's for oil, one's for water. Um, I put these in the tanks, uh, right and left side. Um, in the process of building this boat, um, there's a lot of things that have taken into consideration. The weight of everything. All the weight of the, of, of the boats, um, the, all the weight from right to left and from top to bottom. And it's um, uh, just a lot. And then, let me see here, I gotta put this tape here. Hold on a second, I made a little mistake here. Let me put the camera down just for a second. Sorry about that. Things happen when you're doing this stuff. Anyway, um, here's a picture of basically the strut, or the, the main, uh, the stringers in the boat, and everything's back together. So there's that. And then we come down here, then here's when I was, I cut off these weird compounded angle pieces of wood. Um, this is for the rear sponsons that I added to the boat uh, to make it like the real boats. And then here's a picture of uh, basically those things being um, taped in place, kind of figuring out where they're going to be sitting out on there. And then also on the boat, on the bottom, um, there's uh, little slats that go down each side right here that is on the real boats and it's on my model boat and everything, but it wasn't on this one. So I decided to add those as well. Um, then after that, here's another shot of the bottom of the boat being worked. I added um, two strips of wood here on the, t on the bottom here for a total of three steps on the, uh, on the front sponsons. And you can also see in this picture the uh, um, uh, stuff boxes for the uh, rudder shafts. And then also here's a shot here, kind of when that was all installed. Um, so we can see that. Then after that, what I did was for the battery packs that are going to control this boat, I went ahead and I had an idea and I wrapped all my battery packs in Ziploc bags and made them tight like they were in their own little cubicle. And then what I did was I laid them in the position in the front of the boat where I wanted them to go because I don't want the battery packs to be bouncing around the boat. So then I used expandable foam and did that. 
Then after I trimmed all the foam out, the excess foam, I have three nice pockets that these batteries slide into now. And these batteries slide all the way in, and the only thing you can actually see sticking out is the pigtails. So the batteries do go all the way forward into the boat. Um, then after that was done, then it was time to fiberglass back in the original uh, canopy and uh, uh, capsule and all that stuff. So I fiberglassed everything back into position. Then after that, um, well, lots of body work, um, getting everything to uh, seal up and, and look good. Then here's a shot of the bottom of the boat after it's got some primer put on it. There's that and here's another shot of the bottom of the boat from the other angle. And you can three, see the three steps now in the uh, front sponsons. And then here's just for noted, just whatever, here's a couple pictures here of the boat um, when it was kind of assembled when I was using a white primer. I wanted to see what it looked like because the boat is going to be white. And then here's a picture of the back of the boat before the parachute mount was built. And then here's another shot here. So um, anyway, there you go. I'm going to set this thing down real quick here. I'm going to put the camera down and I'm going to put this other thing up here so I can show everybody this crazy thing that I built. Just give me one second here and we'll get this thing up here and you can see this. It's turned out really cool. All right, well, let me get this camera picked back up. Okay, as you can see now, here's the boat. If you look at the model boat here, take a look at this little thing here. It's called the Big Ugly Injector. And the Big Ugly Injector, um, the modern style is not available through Gary Conley. He does have a retro old school style that you can purchase um, with an engine, but for my engine, I needed to have a more accurate to date injector, so I have to build one. So I did, and there it is. Um, it turned out really, really cool. Um, this is what will be sitting on top of the uh, Conley engine when I get it here, which hopefully is going to be real soon. Um, it turned out really cool, and then basically from the back, you can see how wide it is. And, Here's a shot from the top, and it turned out really cool. I like it a lot. It was a lot of work. I am going to have another video of called Bits and Pieces, of uh, showing a lot of these components that I had to build for this boat project um, that are just not available anywhere. So a lot, of, most everything on this boat has had to have been custom built, one-off stuff. So anyway, but I just thought I'd take a last moment here at the end of this video to show the uh, injector that I built to go to the top of the uh, Conley engine. And uh, anyway, give everybody a little bit of a look at what that thing's gonna look like when it's sitting up there on the boat, when it's all getting close to being finished up. So anyway, thanks for tuning in everybody. Uh, I know this was a long video, but uh, anyway, next video will be about the uh, canopy and the capsule. And uh, when the capsule is completely done, um, you'll have an opening and closing lid. Um, it will have a full roll cage, steering wheel. Um, anyway, it's going to have the uh, gauges in the back of the uh, capsule. And uh, it's going to be quite something to see. So anyway, look, look forward to everybody tuning in for uh, part uh, four. This is part three. And this is the end. All right. Thanks, everybody, for watching. And we'll see you next time. Thank you.